Okay, so now that we are able to store file parts in our database and then list them out, let's see how we can delete files now. The first thing we need to do is let's um, create a route in our routes file. So let's go to routes.php in app HTTP here, and we're going to do route, and then it's going to be of a uh, type get. So anytime we visit that route, we want to delete the file that we're passing in. So let's say um, URL delete file, and it has to be given an ID. So it's dollar ID. Sorry about that. Okay, and the name of the route um, is going to be delete file as well. So we say as and give it a value of delete file, and it's going to use a, a function in the date um, in our files controller with the same name. So uses, and the value of uses as well will be files controller, and then at delete file. Okay, so that was pretty straightforward. So let's go to our files controller here and then uh, create a function with that name. So we're going to do function autocomplete and give it a name of delete file. That function will accept one argument, which is just the ID of the file that we want to delete. So first thing we need to do is retrieve that file from the database. So we're going to say file equal to uploaded file using that model which corresponds to the files table. I'm going to say colon colon find because um, we just want to retrieve one record. So we use find instead of all. So next what we need to do is use the storage class, which we um, made use of initially. If you remember up here to list all the files in that um, files directory, but we're gonna use it this time to delete that file. So we're gonna say colon colon delete. And which file do we want to delete? Um, let's um, get the part of um, where we store files. So I'll show you basically we're getting this uploads um, folder here by doing config and uh, we're going to say app dot files destination so we say file destination part so that is uh, a configuration that we set in our config um, file and then next we want to append the name of the file so we do forward slash and then what we want to do is um, since we query for the file here you just want to get the file name so we're going to do um, access it like this since it's an object basically that's going to delete that file and then next what we want to do is just uh, do a return redirect to um, our uploads view return redirect to and then the URL upload which just corresponds to um, the uploads view okay one final thing that we need to do is we need to link to this route and give it the ID of each file when you loop over. So let's modify this a little bit. So now instead of just showing um, the name of the file, we also want to show some links next to each file and uh, that link we say delete. So we're going to link to route by using the link to route helper. And which route do we want to link to? Delete file, which is the one that we created a few uh, minutes ago and the title of the link will be delete that's what it's going to say on the link and we want to pass in some parameters which the, um, the route requires and the parameters will be file id okay so let's go to our browser and we refresh and we should see a link um, right next to this um, file here so it says we have an error on files controller on line 124 let's go ahead and debug that now so files controller 124 let's see what the problem is so it seems like I forgot to put a two here. So redirect to. So I wanted to call a method, but I forgot to put a method name there. So let's go back, refresh. As you can see now, we have a, um, a delete um, link next to the file. So let's upload one more file. And this time we're gonna select a PDF. So I'll upload that. And now the PDF is uploaded. Let's have a look at our folder. As you can see, we have the image and the PDF uploaded. Let's delete um, the PDF first. So I'll just click on delete. It says not found HTTP exception. Okay, so after a bit of debugging, I came to the realization that um, we didn't need this um, dollar sign here at all. So um, that was my mistake, sorry. And um, I also came to a, one other realization, but I'll show you that in a moment. So now let's delete um, one of these files and it should delete the file from the folder. As you can see, we have two files. Let's delete the PDF file. 
so um it re redirected us back to this upload page here showing that um it deleted the file but as you can see the file is still being shown here and the reason for that is we did not remove the file from the database okay so we deleted it from the folder but we also have to delete it from the database so let me just delete it from right now from that uh, manually so i'll delete it from our table and when i refresh now it's not going to be shown so we have one error in our code let's go ahead and fix that so here after doing storage delete we also have to do upload that file and then colon colon destroy then pass in the id of um, that uh, file so actually we don't need to call destroy we can just say file delete we'll call delete directly on that file that we queried from the database and then after doing the both deletes which can now redirect to the upload page okay so i'll come here refresh now I'll click on delete as you can see now it disappears from the database so let's just show that one more time we upload file so let's time let's upload the pdf first upload i'll upload um the image file next upload it let's go to the database confirm that it's all there and then afterwards now we can just delete them easily click on delete as you can see it's deleted both from the file system here and also from our database okay all right well that's it guys um, for this tutorial video and this video we learned how to um, delete files both from our file system and the database and i thank you for watching i will see you soon in other videos cheers bye bye